Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm going to start things off this morning with a man who has chosen to be as free as can be by being homeless and without obligations. He sleeps most of his nights at a shelter. He rides the few possessions he has around town on a bicycle. He depends in part on food being deposited outside restaurants at the end of the day. He reads throughout the day. He plays frisbee throughout the day. He's so good at frisbee, in fact, that he has earned the nickname, the Frisbee King. Dave, thank you so much for being here with me this morning. Great <laughs> intro, Jenna. Thank you very much. Dave, you get a good introduction because you are quite the man. Now, you have been in Key West for 41 years, but you weren't homeless when you came here 41 years ago. What were you doing? Well, I was on the road just traveling, and I was in California, and it was pretty wiped out. So I saw somebody show me back then a picture of the Florida Keys on the map, and I went, what are those? And they said, those are the Florida Keys. I said, no, they're not. I said, Florida ends in Miami. This was 1969, 70. And they went, no, no, there's these keys that go down the rest of, through Florida, and the United States owns them. I said, nah. They said, yeah. <laughs> So I was March, wiped out in California for surfing, and I stuck out my thumb, and uh, here I got. <laughs> you hitchhike all the way from California yeah, to took Key me West. Excuse me. took me about six weeks to uh, get across, and I got to a marathon. I had stopped in Galveston. It was the only place I saw the ocean, and I, I was getting homesick for the ocean, and I was going to go back to... California and somebody picked me up on the Seven Mile Bridge and this and that and I got to Key West and saw people riding bikes on the street and I went this is cool and I've you been liked here. it you've been here ever since now Dave you were working though when you first came to Key West yeah I had every job the island could offer just as a, a roustabout you know shrimper garbage man you name it construction guy um, I worked for a good 25 years here, hard, hard. There was no uh, welfare state when I got here. Everybody worked, and that was the way it was. Did you have a home? Uh, I rented, sure. I rented uh, a million places all over the island. But, you know, it was $70 for a month is now $1,000 a month. So. Mm -hmm. so eventually you became without a home. And I know, Dave, you spent some time actually living in the mangroves. What was that like? Lovely. Heaven. Lovely. <laughs> well, here's the deal. You can't, in the, in the daytime, the mangoes can get hot and pretty uh, uncomfortable. But what I would do is come in when the sun would go down, stay all night and get up. Uh, there's an airplane that the mail plane leaves about 7 o'clock from the airport. That was my wake up and get out. So I was living at night in the mangroves and then staying active all day and that's how it worked day and night dave i read an article that was that was written by actually a, a childhood friend of yours and he said in the article dave that there were opportunities when you could have been taken out of the lifestyle that you were living in but you chose to be homeless you chose to live the way that you were living why um to train i I'm, a i'm surprised that more uh, professional athletes don't come down here to train. Everything's uh, sea level. The weather's perfect. And um, I've had this goal in mind uh, my whole life. It's what I did best. And I used to do recess best when I was in grade school. And so I just stuck with it. Mm -hmm. So I've been a distance swimmer, volleyball, baseball, basketball player. You know, as long as um, my legs hold up, when when my legs don't work anymore, I'll get into computers. <laughs> and the goal that you have, Dave, it's it's frisbee throwing. You absolutely love throwing a frisbee. You love having one in your hands, don't you? Yeah, I really do. It, uh, it's my thing. I've often said, "Thank God you don't have to hit a frisbee." <laughs> so it, you know, I was. Uh, always better defensively than uh, as a hitter although I batted 392 my senior year in high school but um, this is something you can do with a friend which is really what it's about just catching with a friend but now you know over the years it's evolved to 
you know, all the freestyle moves, and you can do it by yourself. And as your friends get older, they ain't coming out to play. They all got families to raise and responsibilities. So this is something I can do all day. I have uh, five good ones. I take five shots and go pick them up and take five more shots. So there's a lot of walking, running, bending. You know, when you drop a frisbee or it lands, you got to bend down and pick it up. So it's a, it's a way of conditioning, and, and at my level, it's a great way of conditioning. Absolutely. Now, Dave, we're going to show our viewers this morning a video of you throwing the frisbee, doing what you do best. Before we do the video, Dave, you just mentioned something. You said how when your friends get older, it's harder to play frisbee with them because they have families that they're raising. Have you ever had a family, Dave? Uh, just a, a brother and wonderful parents who uh, died around 93. My brother and I were uh, day and night, although I love him deeply. And um, that's about it. Um, one of the ways to remain free for me, and one of the things I really couldn't handle most of my life was responsibility. Responsibility makes me nervous. <laughs> so I, I, um, knowing that, and it's hard to hit your target when you got things on your mind. So I um, have had a responsibly irresponsible uh, existence, although it is goal-oriented and with a forethought. All right. Well, you seem happy, so whatever you're doing, it must be right. Now, we're going to take a quick break right now, but as I mentioned, when we return from these messages, we'll show you a video of Dave doing what he does best, which has earned him the nickname, the Frisbee King. Stay with us. There's much <laughs> more to come this morning. <laughs> 